What is going on guys? It's King Touch Pro and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this really cool effect. I don't really know what the name is for this actual effect, but I'm just going to call it object behind text effect for this Photoshop tutorial. But if you guys want to, uh, you know, see more videos like this, be sure to comment down what you guys want to see next or leave a like. That'll be awesome. Let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. So I have this picture here that I will also, of course, link in the description so you guys can download it and follow along with the tutorial. So right now it's uh, 3000 by 2000. So it's a really, really big picture. Now, of course, you can always scale it if you go over to uh, image and then you go to uh, canvas size. You can actually change the canvas size uh, or the actual image size. So I'm going to go to image size for the width. We want to make sure that's on pixels. And I'm just going to do 1920 by 1080 and that will just shrink it down. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, double click the background uh, so we can move it around, I guess. And we're actually going to scale this up. Okay, so I'm going to move this up quite a bit just so we can focus on his feet. Now, for the font that I use is called Arial Black. That's mostly kind of standard for the actual font or for the actual logo of the Vans uh, brand. But uh, I'm just scale this up. We're going to make this into a smart object and then we're going to rasterize it. And to do that, it's very simple. All you got to do is just, first of all, kind of scale it up so it has its maximum quality. And then from here, all you want to do is just right click on the actual text go to convert to smart object and then right click again and then go to rasterize layer to rasterize it so now if you command click it will only select the actual text and everything all right so now once we have uh, everything converted into a smart object and it has been rasterized we want to go over to the lasso tool and we want to separate each letter okay so you can do whatever you want with them so i'm going to do this one first so i'm going to just uh, select a, uh, a rough cut of this obviously the V and then press command J or control J if you're on a PC and then you want to go ahead and, and rename the layers so you know which ones are which so we have this one here and currently there's you know you can't really see anything unless you if you make this one visible or not uh, and so we're gonna do that for each single one so carefully go around each letter and then command J to make a copy make sure you're not on the V letter so you want to do Vans and then do it again to make sure that the, you're actually selecting something so now we have each single letter here, just like that. Cool. And then I'm going to name this again A. And then you want to do the same thing for each single one. So cool. You can see Vans. It's pretty cool. So now we have each single letter by itself, which is good. Now, of course, this one looks a little bit different. That's because I was just still messing around and playing with everything. But uh, this is the more organized way. <laughs> all right. So once you've done that, you want to go ahead and hide all of these letter, uh, all of the letters, of course. And you want to go ahead and make a copy of his actual feet, just like we did with the letters, except we're going to actually crop out his feet uh, with the pen tool or whatever tool you want to use to crop out the object. This could be a person. It could be whatever. It could be a car. Just go ahead and select the pen tool, which is P for the keyboard shortcut. And then zoom in closely, okay? And you want to go ahead and just select his feet as close as you can. I'm going to go ahead and start at the top, okay? Now, you don't have to start at the very top. You can, but if you want to change the background, I would really suggest you guys doing that and just selecting the whole entire object just to make everything much easier in the long run, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just start here and just kind of follow along his leg just like that. Now, you can, of course, zoom in to see what you're doing. I'm going to speed this up just for the time of this video. So I'll be back once I have selected his shoe. All right guys, so I have finished selecting his foot here with the pen tool and go ahead and finish off the path, right click inside, make sure you have the background selected, not any of the other layers because there's nothing there, there's no pixels. So make sure it's the background so you're actually selecting something. Right click inside, go to make selection. For the uh, feather radius, I put 0 0.5 and I click okay. Same exact thing that we did with the other layers except we want to go ahead and press uh, command J and control J uh, if you're on a PC. So that will make an exact copy of it. Want to go ahead and name this. Uh, le you can name it left shoe or right shoe. You know, from the way we're looking at it, I'm going to just name it left shoe just so you guys don't get confused. You want to do the same exact thing that we did with the shoe, you know, selecting it. And we want to make a copy of this again. So I'll come back once I have finished selecting his foot. <laughs> All right, guys, so I have finished selecting this fit once again. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the path. I want to make sure that we have the background selected. Right click, make selection. Everything should be the same, so just click OK. 
press Command J or Control J on a PC and go ahead and rename it so we stay organized. So now we have this and we also have the text here, all of this. We actually need to cut this off so we're going to go ahead and quickly select the magic wand tool uh, and select that or you could of course use the quick selection tool which is my favorite and just press delete and now we'll get rid of it so we have this little uh, transparent little loop there so cool now once we're done with that enable everything except the letter vans and then you want to go ahead and start messing around with the layers here so what I want to do is I want to put his leg his uh, left shoe I guess in uh, in front of the V so I'm gonna drag this and put it uh, on top of the letter V and then I also want to put this in between these two letters the V and the A so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the letter A on top and now it's in between there which is really really cool and then for this one here for his right foot what we want to go ahead and do is select the right shoe I want to move this in front of the letter N so I'm gonna drag that on top of the letter N but I also want to drag this in between these two so I'm gonna drag S and drag that on top of the shoe so now we have this going on which is really really cool now we want to go ahead and just drag the text or the texture I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, copy this right here so I'm gonna hold down alt or option and make sure on the you're on the texture layer and I'm gonna just drag this on top cool so we're gonna go ahead and drag the texture on top of everything if you guys want all of the texture on it I also have a pattern if you guys didn't know that if I zoom in you're gonna have like a leather type of uh, texture on the letters and uh, to do that's very simple once you download it um, the texture go ahead and open that up and select the large letter PNG open that up go to image or go to edit and then define pattern go ahead and just click OK I already did that so I don't want to do it again and then from here I want to go ahead and, and uh, add the texture to each of the letters and I'm gonna show you guys that right now so if we look at the letter V in this case I'm gonna double click on that to open up the layer style I'm gonna go over to pattern overlay and then I'm gonna go on to pattern you're gonna have this really ugly looking pattern and I'm gonna click the latest one or the last one which should be the one that you have installed onto Photoshop click OK and to make things quicker right click on the actual layer go to copy layer style and you can of course select each single letter right click and click on paste layer style and now they all have the same texture which is really really cool in my opinion and then last but not least I also have let me go ahead and uh, put all of this into a group I'm going to name this text just like so and then the background I just went on to the actions and these are the shutter pulse free actions I'll look that up so you guys can download it as well and I just added the warm cinema make sure you have the background selected the background picture push the play button to add the action on there and then now you have this really cool effect onto it which is awesome and the cool thing is is that it only adds it to the background and it offsets the shoes because it's white and the background is kind of brown if we go ahead and open up the folder I'm gonna get rid of the first layer because I don't really like vignettes and then from here you want to go ahead and just take off the second one if you want it's up to you guys and uh, yeah and I'm gonna take this one off as well so that's pretty much it on how to do this really cool effect and uh, if you guys found it helpful in any way please leave a rating below that would be much appreciated but yeah I'll catch you guys on my next video I love you all peace out take care and enjoy your day